This is Rob with Precision Zone, and I'm going to be showing you how to test your HV75AP4 winding selector contactor. What we're going to need to do is we're going to have to be able to put 220 on pins 17 and 18, and we're going to have to have 24 volts to pins 13 and 14, having pin 13 being the positive side of the DC and 14 the negative side of the DC. And always, when you're dealing with live electricity, please take all safety precautions necessary. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take my multimeter and put it to the AC function. I'm gonna check between pins 17 and 18. We'll get 209, that's fine. So now that we know we have this energized, this procedure that's here in front of me that I'm gonna be following comes right from us at precisionzone.com. So we're gonna to move to the resistance function and it says take a measurement resistance between one, two, three, four, and five, six, low resistance. So we're just gonna to touch our leads together and see we're getting 0.6. So it shouldn't be much more than that. One and two, three and four, five and six. Okay, so that's what we're looking for. And then it's asking to check between seven, eight, uh, nine, 10, and 11, 12 for high resistance. So we really shouldn't be seeing anything at all. Depending on your meter, you might get a reading, but ours is not reading, which that's perfectly fine. So now the next step is to apply 24 volts DC. And now I'm gonna be using our bench top power supply to be applying that 24 volts DC. And when you do apply that 24 volts DC, what's gonna happen is the contactor is gonna engage. It's gonna make a popping sound, so don't let that scare you. Okay, now that the contactor is engaged, everything we checked on the uh, first step will be the exact opposite on the second step. So we're gonna go between one and two, nothing, three and four, nothing, five and six, nothing, and then these should all be shorted. Which they are. <clears throat> so. So this contactor checks perfectly fine and there's nothing wrong with it. But if you do have a spindle drive that it comes in for repair, we always recommend that you change this contactor because it's just cheap insurance to make sure the drive didn't damage it. So please go check us out at precisionzo.com if you have any more questions. And we perform free motor evaluations and we provide warranties on all the products we repair. Thanks for watching.